PETA is the driving force behind animal rights, and I'm proud to be a PETA member. Yes, PETA is back, demonstrating in a way only PETA can. A nearly nude PETA protester lying down on a big plate. 178 animals seized from a rescue. The difference in how the animals look now is day and night. We're on tour going to different cities, helping people make the connection that the meat on their plate was once an animal with feelings and a will to live. Portland has been named the most vegan-friendly city in the U.S. by Paul McCartney and PETA. According to PETA, beer is better for you than milk. People are seeing videos on the internet that tell them the story behind meat production and walking away from it. PETA released a video of employees at Culver Duck Farm killing ducks in extremely disturbing ways. PETA pressuring lawmakers to stop allowing restaurants to serve live animals. We're here to bust the myths about being vegan. It's very manly to be vegan. Dogs are manly. Protein. Protein. That little voice in your mind and in your heart that makes you curious about being vegan is something you should listen to. Give vegan a try. It'll grow on you. Anything with the central nervous system can suffer, and we just shouldn't be involved in anything that contributes to suffering. No more mink coats for Armani. The famous designer is going fur free. The electric car company Tesla is going vegan. PETA pushed for that option. PETA's investigation prompted Global Brands Group to ban ostrich skin and feathers from all of its brands. PETA is exposing some horrible facts behind down feathers. There's nothing fashionable about cruelty. There are so many alternatives these days. No life deserves to be taken away just for fashion. Animals have feelings just like us. If you're an animal lover, you'll realize that. It's all about education and having a heart. The only option is to not use wool. There is no happy place that they get to go for being a wool sheep. PETA denounced what they said was a cruel treatment of sheep and lambs in southern Chile. Clothing giant Gaff and the Couples have stopped selling fur after pressure from PETA. A group of high school students using cat intestines as a jump rope. PETA is sounding off about the video. I'm, I'm speechless. That's... They're learning probably never to do that again. PETA pushed Congress to phase out the use of animals in military trauma training. We're taking on the most powerful organization in the civilized world, and we're going to win. PETA scientists assist Netherlands in its vow to end animal testing nationwide. The PETA International Science Consortium has been awarded the prestigious Lush Training Prize. Less than 24 hours after PETA launched an online campaign pushing Johnson & Johnson to stop using live animals, companies agreed. 9,000 animals are spared from agonizing chemical tests after PETA submits information to the FDA. PETA is hailing the passage of a landmark bill as the beginning of the end for animal use and chemical testing. Rush University Medical Center is going virtual. PETA is paying for half of the training setup. Louis is one of many chimpanzees who are kept behind bars against their will. This is absolutely unforgivable, and it really has to stop. Joe was imprisoned here, in this squalid cage at this decrepit roadside zoo, for 17 years. He was confined to a tiny, rusted cage, isolated and alone. Joe was finally released, and with the help of Save the Chimp Sanctuary, we were able to take him to his wonderful new home. PETA also helped to retire Lisa Marie and Tarzan from solitary confinement. They were taken to Save the Chimp Sanctuary, where they have acres of land to roam, play, and interact with their own kind. See, the I reason said. I thought it was uh, good is because... It's... Ow! Shit! If I switch my eye line, uh, okay, just quick... Oh! Director! Who? Who? You're the director! Who? Who? You're the director! Who? You're the Who? director. Who? Uh, yo! Ringling Brothers plans to retire its elephants from the circus a year and a half ahead of schedule. After protests from PETA, Costco will no longer offer trip packages to places where travelers can ride elephants. Trip Advisor is going to stop selling tickets to animal abusive attractions. Dade City's Waldings is being sued by PETA over the allegations of violating the Endangered Species Act. PETA used this investigation footage to expose heartbreaking cruelty in Chinese circuses. Mired in controversy and drowning in debt, the Bowmanville Zoo is closing. The zoo is blaming controversial video posted by animal rights group PETA. Alec Baldwin is calling on the government to shut down bear pits. As long as well-meaning people continue to go to roadside zoos and shows, the bears will continue to suffer. 
because I was rescued, and in my new home, I get to be me. I get to be a bear. It is the end of an era. The Baltimore National Aquarium said they will be soon freeing their celebrity dolphins. PETA are challenging the captivity of Lolita. They're confined in these small tanks. The most horrific thing is like living in a bathtub for the rest of our lives. The battle between SeaWorld and PETA continues. 38 protesters each held a sign with the name of an orca that has died at SeaWorld. SeaWorld will start phasing out its killer whale shows in San Diego. SeaWorld is ending its orca breeding program at all parks. It's not enough and it's time to empty the tanks. Lily Tomlin wants people to think twice about supporting SeaWorld. I can't help it. I'm a member of PETA. When people are amused or entertained, they have an opportunity to think twice about an issue. I work at SeaWorld. It's not my job to think. When PETA found Koa, he was beaten so badly that he'd lost an ear. But with emergency surgery and time to recover, he finally found the loving family he deserves. <laughs> PETA released a video of a so-called hamster mill. PetSmart and Petco have stopped business with the company following federal citations. PETA's expose revealed the systemic cruelty of the hermit crab trade. When devastating flooding in Louisiana forced thousands of people out of their homes, many had to leave their family pets behind. So volunteers are stepping up the care. We are here today to receive roughly 60 animals who have been rescued down in Louisiana. You've had a rough time, huh? Well, you're not going to have one anymore. Animal activists braved frigid temperatures. One PETA volunteer sat outside of City Hall for 12 hours. PETA actually teamed up with Denver Broncos quarterback Chris Harris to show just how cold it can get for dogs outside this time of year. If you wouldn't leave me in a hot car, please don't leave your dog in a hot car. All of my dogs are spayed and neutered. That's the first thing you have to do. Spaying and neutering pets controls the pet population, and also there's so many dogs that need Homes. When you see a dog like me, please speak up, because we can't. We're counting on you. PETA hosted an adopt-a-thon in Norfolk's Bee Park this afternoon. We've always adopted rescue dogs. He's going to be living it better than we. <laughs> better than me, probably. PETA fielded more than 15,000 cruelty complaints, built and delivered more than 300 free dog houses, and sterilized more than 15,000 cats and dogs. Thank God for PETA and all that they're doing Woo, for the PETA. PETA. PETA funded work for suffering animals in 20 countries. Nearly 30,000 schools received PETA's Share the World Curriculum Pack to help teachers instill the importance of kindness to all. Animal rights will happen if we try and we try hard. So please do everything you can possibly think of to do all the time. Thank you very, very much.